Welcome to my presentation. Today, I want us to learn about how to teach critical thinking skills. This is your presenter, Dr. Kibet. What is critical thinking? How can you teach critical thinking skills? Critical thinking is the ability to analyze facts and form a judgment. It is a form of emotional intelligence. Someone with critical thinking skills can think clearly and rationally when the situation demands it. It allows them to perform problem solving and decision making more effectively. These are the skills that we need in order to be able to think critically. They are varied and include observation, analysis, interpretation, reflection, evaluation, inference, explanation, problem solving, and decision making. This video will help you learn how you will teach critical thinking skills in the classroom. Now, so in the following section, I want us to discuss about ways of teaching critical thinking skills. Point number one. Start a class discussion by asking an open-ended question. Open-ended questions are questions that have more than one answer. Make sure to emphasize to your students that there are no right or wrong answers. Let them know that there are only opportunities to learn and some answers may work better than others. Point number two. Give students time to think through. Narrow thinking is often the result of rushing to give an answer. For classroom discussion or in class assignments, give students a few minutes to think clearly before they propose any idea. For the best results, have students sit quietly and put their books and pens while they reflect. Point number three, make a list naming the pros of two conflicting ideas. Get students out of the mindset that there is always a right and a wrong answer by looking for the good in two contrasting ideas. Make a large list on a chalkboard or a whiteboard with a column for each idea. Ask students to name positive things for both sides and to think about a possible third option that would use parts of each. Point number four, ask your students to look for patterns and connections. Across various subjects of study, encourage your students to look for patterns and connection to the real world. This will help your students tie individual lessons to bigger trends or concepts and also to apply them to daily lives. Point number five, show students a fake picture to get them thinking about their own assumptions. Show your students a picture of something that is a bit fake and have them guess what's happening in the picture. Next, ask them to break down the clues in the picture that lead or led them to this assumption. Finally, ask them to think about how some of their own beliefs or experiences shaped what they have thought about the picture. Point number six, analyze statements by asking why five times. It is important to encourage students to think about and explain their reasoning behind the answers. Make a game out of interrogating claims by asking why about it five times. You can apply this to most lesson plans you are teaching as a teacher, especially in regard to literature or history. Point number seven. Teach students the difference between opinions and factual statements. Teach your students that any claim they make 
is considered an opinion until they can provide evidence about it. This evidence might be an experiment that they conduct or reliable information published by experts. And finally, number eight, remind students to be open to conflicting views. Your students may be tempted to focus on sources that agree with their point of view, but this will limit their ability to think critically about the issues. Instead, encourage your students to learn about both sides of the debate and stay open to both opinions. And this marks the end of my brief video on how to teach critical thinking skills. Thank you.